so if you can see them, the purple bok choy, there's a weed in there too, is getting bigger. But I was going to say, yesterday I had my lawnmower guy out here and he wiped out a whole section of this in the front that I had planted in my flower bed. And I don't really understand why he did that because there was a bunch of um, what they call naked lady bulbs in there. And they have never bloomed for, I don't have much luck with bulbs here for some reason and I'm thinking about sending them somewhere else to somebody that I know because they just, most of the time, like alliums will grow here. If you know what an allium is, it's related to the onion. What else? What else? I've had uh, fritillarias grow here. Uh, I'm trying to think what other bulbs. But, you know, like your basic things like tulips, daffodils, can't get them to bloom. And I think it has something to do with the soil here. Maybe the really long, hot days. But anyways, yeah, I was kind of ticked he did that. Um, he wiped out all of my garlic, or my uh, Chinese chives out front. And I'm hoping they'll grow back because they're, you know, they grow back every year. So I hope that they'll, they weren't damaged too much that they'll grow back up from the ground. But I don't know because they're not like regular chives. Um, they come out of the ground on a single stem and then it branches out. It's not like regular chives that just branch out from, from the ground. So I don't know if they'll come back or not. Uh, so I wanted to show you this. This is that fennel and there's a bunch here. I think I ended up with five plants, I think. And you can eat this, like you can take and cut this stalk. I'm sure you've seen these at the store. They'll sell those with hardly any of the leaves on top. But you can take that and put some pepper and olive oil on it or really whatever you want. You could use like a balsamic vinegar and uh, mozzarella cheese or you could use like um, wine and some uh, curry or you know whatever you wanted to do with it and just bake it in the oven for maybe like half an hour and it's it's a really good vegetable it gets really tender and you can also cut the stalk up like in chips really small chips for a salad but also all this leaves you can dry and I wanted to tell you, this is the host plant for um, the Eastern Swallowtail. And every year I have this conflict because I want to eat them, <laughs> but I know the Swallowtails will come and they need it. And so I'll usually just eat one of them every year and just leave the rest for the butterflies because it's a good thing to do. But they're not fully grown yet. That, that, that's got to put maybe six more inches to grow and that stalk will get big and round it's gonna be delicious so I'm out here in my garden, and I said about the cilantro flowering here, and that once it gets seeds, like these, this is coriander, and it's getting them all over it, and so pretty soon I'll be able to pull these out, and my borage is just going down quick. Once it blooms and it goes to seed, it's pretty much done. So I'm going to have this big space all through, that whole section through here. Up there, vining on the fence, it's, you can see the leaves. That's such a inchy nut vines. And those are packed with um, essential fatty acids. But I was going to say, you know, I'm kind of niff today because Cuba is saying that they have a drug that combats this virus and I think okay they, they developed it jointly with China and they're saying that 
it cures the virus. And I think that that's why China whipped it so fast after they got a handle on it. And they went to help Italy. They sent a bunch of medical doctors over there yesterday. And our state department is telling them more, we're not only warning other countries not to accept their help, we're also saying we don't need their help. And I think that is so asinine and foolish. I can't even say. But anyways, um, I said in another video that my lawn guy stripped off my bed in the front by accident. He didn't know. I just talked to him this morning and I told him not to do that again. <laughs> but my Chinese chives are growing back already and I planted a bunch of flowers in there this morning and he didn't, somehow he didn't hit most of the purple bok choy which is like this. So somehow he didn't hit that. See all my cucumbers back in there? And I'm pretty excited about my garden this year. A lot of stuff going good in here. Everything's growing really good except for kale. And I don't know why that is. I think maybe because it got hot so fast. But I'm really annoyed with our government right now. And I'm... I decided I'm not going to build my greenhouse. In fact, I think I'm going to give it away to somebody. And it's not because I don't want a greenhouse. Or, or either that or I'll just leave it in my shed and build it later. Because I'm planning on moving from here. I'm, I'm moving far away from here. And also, I'm just not very happy today, period, about a lot of things. Um... though but I'm just not happy see all my green beans and this is back in there that's kakuza squash and they can get like three and a half foot long and they're fun I love those and they're delicious too well you've seen me play with them before I'm sure <laughs> 